Okay, so I was making my coffee and then my best buddy in Japan called me and he's like, hey man, what's up? Wanna play some Super Smash? I'm like, I, I could play some Super Smash Brothers right now, for sure. So <laughs> that's how my morning went. But uh, that's okay, just good phone conversations with my best friend and some video games never hurt. Not every moment of every day has to be productive. <laughs> Sometimes I like to have more productive mornings, but hey, video games and chats, nothing beats that. So yeah, anyway, right now, heading to a waterfall to meet up with a good buddy of mine, Eric. We're gonna just do some photography. I'm going there to test out the Sigma 16 millimeter lens a little bit more, as well as the 22 mil lens, uh, the Canon lens. Also, I'm running a little bit late, and if you've seen this, Eric, I promise it wasn't because of Super Smash, it was because I got distracted with the kids. Be there soon. GPS takes me to just the middle of nothing. <laughs> There's no parking lot there. Just, just, a, just a hill. Ah, oh, this happens very often. Well, that's unpleasant. Great. So this definitely happens kind of frequently where I'm going to a new national forest or a spot in Vermont and the GPS is not taking me to the right spot. And I have found a couple parking lots, but I am meeting up with my friend, like I said, and haven't seen his car. And there's no cell service, which is also another common thing when going to National Forest in Vermont. So yeah, I gotta just keep driving around, I guess, and try to find him, but there's the roadblock, so. Should be fun. At least it's really beautiful here. So we're down here in Texas Falls, Vermont. Absolutely gorgeous out. Not a cloud in the sky, which is not my preference. I prefer a cloudier day when I'm out taking videos and photos, but just do what we can and explore and just try out this lens a little bit more. So I decided to put the drone up in the air to kind of get closer to the waterfall and it crashed, which is weird because I have all the safety features on. And then it said there was a magnetic interruption, so I don't know if it's just like a weird zone in there. Anyway, I got it back, it's fine. It didn't fall in the water, thank, whew, thank goodness it fell on a rock and on the water. That was like pure luck. But I just was getting it back up again to just make sure everything was fine before I put it back in my bag. And it broke a propeller. Look, can you see? Yeah. It was trying to land, and it landed on a rock and then just like flew back, so. It's being really weird right now, so I'm gonna keep it away from the water and I'm gonna have to change out the propeller when I get home because I didn't bring spares. This is probably why you're supposed to wear the propeller guards. All right, drone's away. I'm gonna keep taking photos and videos with this lens and test it out and just enjoy nature because it's so nice to be out. I mean, yes, I can go in my backyard and get nature, but it's just different and I love waterfalls and I wanna get closer. Eric already got closer, so I'm gonna go meet him over there. Unfortunately, we have to walk to the water and my boots are not waterproof, but oh well. <laughs> so we found a much easier path to the waterfall, the side that we wanted to be on, and so we didn't have to walk to the water, but I did anyway. Worth it, because it's actually not as cold after my feet dry off. Either way, this place is really awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here when it's better light, probably later in the day I'd prefer. And as far as this lens goes, I'm loving it so far. I'm not sure about a lot of the photos I've taken yet. I need to look at them on the computer. The autofocus is definitely not as fast as, say, Canon's lenses for this camera. It's really not as fast as like the 22 mil, but it's good. It's definitely good. It's just not super duper fast. It kind of reminds me of the autofocus when I was using the 50mm with the comma adapter. It was quick, but not really as fast as I'd prefer. You know what I mean? I do want to also note that I'm shooting everything handheld, no gimbal. Just, uh, well, Gorilla Pod. Handheld Gorilla Pod. How does it look? Because this lens doesn't have built-in stabilization like the Canon ones do, so I'm trying my best.
So this is gonna go without saying, but you really need a variable neutral density filter to get the most out of this lens. So you can use the wide open aperture of 1.4 because I keep having to go in the shadows, otherwise I completely get blinded out of focus. And I'm not even using 1.4 and I want to. So you need a variable ND. I was not prepared to rent this lens because I didn't have one with the right filter size for it. But that's, I'm not complaining. I'm just making the most of what I have. I'm gonna do the best I can with the gear that I have. It just keeps getting more and more beautiful the further in I go. Really, really happy with this location. So I've got nothing but good things to say about this lens so far. I'm not a huge fan of the focal length for taking stills, but for video, I'm loving it. I'm really, truly loving this lens. It just looks so good. So, so good. It's so sharp. The color reproduction is so nice. I do love Sigma's color and their lenses. It just looks so, so good. And what do you all think? How are you liking the footage that you're seeing so far? I, I think the footage, I think it looks great. That's what I see in the back of the camera. So we'll see, obviously, in post-production, but out in the field, I'm definitely loving this lens. Sorry if I sound like I'm shouting. I'm just trying to talk over the, uh, the waterfall and the rushing water. So if I sound like I'm shouting, sorry. Something else to keep in mind is that this lens actually weighs more than the body of the ESM50. It's around 407 grams where the body of the M50 without a battery in it is 355 grams. So it's much heavier with this lens on than it would be with the kit lens, but we already knew that. Regardless, it's not making the biggest difference in the world. It's not a huge kit by any means and it's totally manageable for taking vlogging clips. that at no point today have I said I wish I took out my kit lens or I want to take out my kit lens. I have no desire to take out my kit lens right now. From a vlogging standpoint, this lens is pretty much perfect. It covers everything I need to for a vlog. From a photography standpoint, if I was here strictly to take photos, I would want a longer focal length like a 7200, but that's not why we're here. We're here to vlog with the 16 millimeter lens. And the only thing I wish, like I mentioned earlier, is that I had an ND, like a variable ND, so I could use 1.4, but I don't, so that's not the point. The point is, I've had no desire to get my kit lens out. This lens covers everything I need for a vlog, pretty much, and it's so nice. I'm, I'm really enjoying this lens. Sigma, you're kind of selling me on this one. You, re you really are. Air hooks up there. Can you see him? He's right there to keep getting my feet wet. Ugh, it's so cold, but it's worth it. It's totally worth it. So, so far I'm not really finding any drawbacks from this lens. Its size could be a little bit awkward at first, especially if you're coming from the kit lens, and it does make the camera very front heavy, but it's not really bothering me, and it, it shouldn't bother you either because the image quality that you're going to get out of this lens is superior. It's superior. Random bench. I think I'll sit in here. Come here. Very relaxing day. All right, that wraps up our time at the falls. What a beautiful day, gorgeous weather, and just a good time to test out new equipment. Had a really good time shooting with this lens. It is truly a pleasure to shoot with a Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4. I kind of want to say it's the perfect vlogging lens. Now, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the footage, and bear in mind this was all handheld, and let me know what you thought of today's footage. From what I saw so far, it looked great. I have to go home and actually look at it during post-production, but regardless, shooting with the lens, absolute pleasure. Sigma, you're kind of selling me on this lens. I do think this is the perfect vlogging lens for the Canon M50. Just pairs really nicely. So yeah, let me know what you think. Stay tuned for the next one. If you want to check out the lens, affiliate links in the description. And also be sure to check out my buddy Eric. He's got a cool Instagram page, great photographer, a lot of like digital design and logos and stuff like that. His link will be down in the description below as well. And yeah, just I'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Daddy, 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 daddy.